Hello everybody, I'm Jeffrey Przinski and I'm back getting a game to work for the Mac OS. Uh, this time it's Star Trek New Worlds. This game I was so excited to get my hands on. It was supposed to be this Star Trek meets Starcraft and and everything was supposed to be balanced such that you know you would you would have to know what you'd have to counter with this and uh, you know use the terrain to your advantage. Uh, I I saved up my allowance for a really long time. I um, was so excited when I found it uh, in a store, bought it, and then of course I was thoroughly disappointed when I <laughs> got it home and actually played the game. It was not what I was expecting at all. Um, it was definitely very buggy, and uh, yeah, it was... Um, it was something else to actually try to play through this game. I don't even think I made it through the first mission uh, because the first mission was just so confusing. So let me show you how to install it on your Mac today. So first of all, you want to go ahead and download Crossover. I have that here. Uh, I'm using version 15.3.1. You don't want to use uh, anything later than that because there are some code changes and New Worlds doesn't exactly play well with the newer versions of Crossover. But you can download old, older versions on their website. Next, uh, I am on macOS 10.13.2, just came out today. Uh, and uh, I'm on a MacBook Pro uh, late 2016 model with the touch bar. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually install it. We can see right here that uh, I have the uh, disk in the drive. I have uh, the little crossover over uh, auto run popping up. And I'm going to go ahead and click install right now. You're going to see this. It's You can go ahead and just give it a name. So I'm going to give it Star Trek uh, New Worlds 2 because I've already installed this game. Uh, you click on unlisted application. You're going to skip the select installer and you're going to select bottle. And you don't want to do a Windows XP bottle. You want to do a Windows 98 bottle. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this. Let's go ahead, click continue, and everything is good. We're going to hit install. Okay. Now while this is uh, doing its setup process, I do want to say that I've actually gotten this game through oldgames.com. Uh, there were so many... Oh. Let's go ahead and hit next, next. Wow. Okay, let's see here. Uh, there is an issue with um, the movie player for some reason with Star Trek New Worlds. It's okay. You can go ahead and just hit okay and pass it on. Uh, no, we're not going to install the direct. Uh, yes, you should dire install Direct X7. Uh, yes, hit yes. It'll install it. Okay, don't worry about it then. And there you go. That was it. I do want to say that I have gotten this game from oldgames.com. The reason was because they went through and they made a couple of changes to some of the files such that it can actually play on newer systems. Um, here, right here is the disc, uh, is what you would receive. You'll actually get the uh, manual over here. So it's actually very nice to be, to be able to go through and, uh, you know, be able to read uh, about the game, about how to play it. Uh, interplay, it's an interplay game, so it is, um, <clears throat> it is from, uh, uh, the, what do you call it, the, the original series, uh, with Kirk and whatnot, uh, uh, that, that timeline there, or that part of the timeline, I should say. Um, yes, I did not shave because of, uh, well, of Discovery, Star Trek Discovery. If you haven't watched Star, Star Trek Discovery, please go ahead, give it a nice look, and uh, you'll find out why I'm doing that. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. So we're going to say done. Now, here's where things get tricky. Uh, what you want to do 
is uh, they have some no CDs here. You're going to have to do it because for some reason, even if the CD is in the drive, it will not detect it. You're going to have to use uh, a no CDs. Old Games does uh, provide you with the no CDs. So uh, I've already taken care of that uh, with my version that I have over here. What you're going to do is you're going to double click on the uh, Play Star Trek New Worlds. I am going to open up my configuration here real quick to show you. It is a Windows 98, and it uh, we do see that New Worlds is in the... Uh, the D drive there. So we're going to hit OK on that. And here's what's going to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. Now, my monitor goes blank, but my uh, laptop monitor shows a white screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do Command Tab to get out. You're going to see that there's some sort of issue with the, the Bink player. You just hit OK, OK, and there you go. Now, it goes over onto this screen, but that's OK. I can go ahead, move that right back when I uh, launch like a single player campaign or go into options. Um, so if I go to single player campaign, I can select Federation and then hit play and then it moves right back over to the main screen over here. So power corrupts. I'm not actually going to play through this right now. Well, I'll do that in the next uh, the next uh, video, but um, I'm not exactly sure if I want to uh, play through this game. It is a it is a rough game to get through. So I'll go ahead and see you all next time. There we go. All right. Well, that's how you get Star Trek New Worlds working for your Mac. Uh, I really do hope that you, um, uh, if you do decide to uh, purchase this game, uh, give make sure <laughs> make sure you have some patience with it. It is. Um, uh, you'll see in the next video. Let's let's leave it at that. But I am glad that I was able to get this game working for the Mac. I know that uh, Noise from the Basement uh, uh, was actually into Star Trek New World. So, well, New Year 2018, new game. Uh, I hope that you enjoy it. And I'll, if uh, people vote on it for me to do a playthrough of it, I will, I will try until I can't do it anymore. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll see you all in the next mission.